Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hopefully, everyone's having a good uh, Monday night. Hopefully, got some sales. I thought I would display my Under Armour shirt that hasn't sold that I thought would have sold by now, but it's still there. And my Blue Jackets are losing right now by two, but they haven't been playing well. So, unfortunately, they're probably going to be done. It's using the chat. Oops. All right, we have Adam was first. Catherine, how's it going? Sandy's here. Deborah. Yeah, eBay open tickets are going up $124 on May 1st. Get them now if you're going. Charlotte, how's it going? Red Negerson, Four Oaks. All right, so Darren, what's up, buddy? Um, since I went over close with you guys the other night, I did not show you the Levi's. I bought brand new Levi's from the bins with the tags. It looks like they sell anywhere between $39 and $49. If you can find Levi's or pants with the tags, go for it. A lot of golf pants. I found a pair of golf uh, Dockers pants that sell pretty well. Under Armour clothes I didn't show you guys. Uh, I realized after the show last night that I had all these clothes. Yeah, it looks like Darren's ASD. I'll probably do ASD as well. I'm kind of on the fence with eBay open. <clears throat> no, let's not let's don't not the Yankees, Eric. Let's go Red Sox. So I got those clothes listed last night. Tonight I want to show you a lot of the hard goods I picked up, maybe some things you can look out for. Um, as you're sourcing from the bins or from elsewhere. Uh, some of these might be price breakers, depending on what you get them for. So I got these pretty much, I want I don't want to say free, but uh, negligible prices. Aviz, how's it going? Done, got my ticket. Right, Nickerson's going. If you're lost, won't meet me. Just kidding. Yeah, it looks like it. So Adam's going. All right, so I'll show you some of the hard goods stuff I picked up. Now, a lot of this stuff is little or ticky tack stuff, but if you can get um, these type items for little to no cost, you can probably sell them for around eight to 14, depending on what you get them for. Now, a lot of times with the bin stuff, I'm completing sets or I'm, gra I'm grabbing other things to lot with other stuff. So, again, this Alfani tie, I thought it was pretty cool, the colors. But I picked it up because I have a whole box full of uh, ties that I'm going to put together. So, basically, I'm grabbing stuff to lot up. And <clears throat> that's kind of been a new strategy for me. Hey, Michelle, Diesel, what's going on? All right, so I don't have to keep bending over. Anything sealed? Uh, so I picked up a lot of these. Now, I think, was it Justin before that was saying he picks these up and loves them? I was specifically looking for these because I tend to find these a lot. I'm getting a bunch. So there's a bunch. They're all sealed. And this is from my last trip here. So I still have these. So what I'm looking to do is I'm, I think I have enough now to start lotting them up. But that's my goal lately is with getting things. Like I have another VHS tape. Um, where's the other stuff? There's more here. What's interesting, too, is if you find some of the unique things, like I the, the cassette tape I picked up of Top Gun, uh, cassette tape I sold for $7.50. I didn't look this up. I just grabbed it. I figured someone would buy that, but nice. with the cassette tapes sell for? I have to look. Uh, they're a little higher with the, obviously with the lot, but I just grabbed a bunch of them. I figured I can at least get $10, maybe. Again, with a lot of the sealed things, like this is sealed Fisher Price, Handy Manny, sealed. So I just grabbed it. Most of this stuff, this stuff I'm showing you now, I did not look up comps. Either it was sealed, it was an electronics item, or I got I have multiples of it. So, for example, this was sealed. I think I have two of these somewhere. Uh, nope. Just. All right, just this one. So it's another game, sealed game. I did get two of. I can find it. Two of these things. One. And again, I. Shoot, sorry if I can move this here. 
Jay Joe, what's up? The crazy card, how's it going? So I got one of those. I picked up another one of these. I would not buy that. It's just a random card game. I've sold random card games from the bins. So if you can find little things like that, uh, like a PlayStation 1 game, pick that up. Uh, these things, I saw these at my local Goodwill. Uh, they were in the bin, so I just picked them up. And there are a bunch of them. There are these like uh, cassette ribbons. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lop them together. I don't know price yet. Again, I just threw them all in. I have a bunch of these. So I ended up picking a lot of those up. And if you can, oh, there's the other one. So I have two of those. Again, use uh, sealed stuff. I threw these in here. Looney Tunes. A lot of cartoon stuff does pretty well. I don't know if I'm going to sell that. I just threw it in the bag. Let's see what else did I get here? So I got a, some sealed stuff I might try to get rid of under clutter. The Bob and Tob Show. A lot of this stuff's kind of cool because I just throw it in there. It's not worth much. I Spy card game. If anything, the kids will take that one. But, yeah, Darren, you're right. A lot of these take multiple listings. Uh, okay, here's some more here. Got some more of those. And what's nice, nice is uh, a lot of these things go unnoticed in the bins. I don't know about you guys. Catherine, I made a big, big lunge. A premium store, nice. After figuring out what will cost me for over the 250s, 250 listings and store fee, nice. Yeah, it's cheaper if you can get your listings up, Catherine. It's more, it's worth it to do that. So, congrats on doing the premium. Uh, premiums, I think $59.99. Premium store. All right, so keep in mind that the bins, a lot of these, even you can go at the, uh, the regular store, the regular thrift store will price these about a dollar. But at the bins, they're next to nothing. Little, like, handheld games. And I think the game's pretty much over. Yeah, they're out. So, um, these little onesie twosie electronic games. I got two of these. I have to test them. Electronic Sudokus. Uh, and with some of the stuff I've already picked up, I can lock most of this together. So, uh, where's it? Blackjack. Test that out. Excalibur Bridge. I mean, someone's going to want that. Got that. And I think a lot of people pass this stuff up too. As controller or controllers, remotes. I mean, Kenwood. Oops, Kenwood. Get that stuff. Insignia probably won't go for much, but I'll put it up. Again, probably got it for free. And I found a big one here, Sony. You can see if you find Sony remotes, get it. Do you have advice on setting up shipping for Amazon? I use defaults, sold some items for a loss after shipping fees. So just like eBay, at least for me, when I merge and fulfill my items, Jay, um, you kind of know weight, right? So I know this is going to go first class. Let's say I sold this on Amazon. I know I'm probably going to be about three bucks let's say but if it's something real heavy and real long i'm going to probably pay between seven and ten dollars for something like a board game so definitely start thinking about prices just like you do on ebay at least if you're going to merge with it. so i have no default set up i just go in and select the shipping just like i would do if i was buying uh labels off paypal what is the new price on the basic store after June 1st? I don't know. Basic goes to 20. Oh, there you go. Catherine got it. Basic goes to $21.95 and premium stays at $59. Uh, I picked these up. No ideas what, what these are. Again, it was brand new. I picked them up. And if I sell this stuff for about six bucks, I'm okay with it. Um, just because it's brand new and I paid nothing for it. So if I'm selling all this for $8. And I'm netting what three bucks, three four dollars. That adds up after a time. But again, normally I wouldn't buy this stuff. But since it was ne negligible and weight, and some of this stuff I just threw in, quick release. And again, I didn't look it up. If anything, I'll sell it at a uh, garage sale, and I'll get rid of it. Some random uh, puzzle game I picked up. Talking about lots too. 
I found this thing. I found a sealed Rainbow Six game for the computer. I don't think I care. Now, this is what I'm going to lot up. I found this that was sealed. So a lot of times you find random CDs at the bins. Well, I found all of these all together. And think about it. If I get a good 15 to 9, 10 bucks for these, all of them together, there you go, Disney, Preschool Winnie the Pooh, right? Kalu, how do you say Kalu? Read a Rabbit. And I think I have another one that I have up for like $18 that's unopened. But if I can lot all these together, and I have I have five discs now, two that are unopened. If I can get $19, I'll try it. But definitely look if you're doing the bins. Complete sets, because I was looking through it, and I said, hey, wait a minute. I see a bunch of these, so I picked them up. Jennifer, what's up? Donna had two sales today, one on eBay and one on Posh. I have four. I had four. One on Mercari, uh, two on eBay. <clears throat> That's with the yearly commitment? Oh, yes, exactly, Adam. Great point. So the premium store is $59.99 or $59.95 with the commitment to pay for a year. Um, I mean. I did the commitment just because I'll know I'll be selling for a year. Does Pet Cube play sell well? Yes, it does, Haviz. It sells well even if it's broken. So if you're looking at liquidation, I would pick up Pet Cube, but depending on what else is in the box, what your shipping costs are, and what's in the manifest, I, that's what would what I would do it for. Uh, I saw someone said 911 in the chat, and I missed it. Hopefully everyone's all right. All right, here we go. You keep cutting your eyes to the right. Oh, Mike, uh, Blue Jackets were on the TV. They lost, so it's over. Uh, you can't be picking up something for 25 cents and selling it for 7 or 10. Oh, yeah, so if I pick it up for 20 cents, 20, 25 cents, sell it for 10, I consider that free. I burden, so my spreadsheets, I burden a lot of the cost on my heavier items. But it's all by lot, so I can track how much profit I am. <clears throat> excuse me, on each uh, group of stuff I purchase. So, pure money. Thanks, Darren, for the super chat. Thanks, buddy. The little things keep your store active, and that's a way to get your positive feedback up too. That's right. Hey, Demir, what's going on? That's right. This little, these little things are so easy to list because you think about this: one picture, two picture. Um, Basically, that's it. You put it up. I don't know what the comps are. Let's say comps are seven ninety nine. Put seven ninety nine on it. It's that stuff. This stuff right here, I'm showing you, is so easy to list. Remotes are so easy to list. Um, almost a no brainer. Plus, they're easy to store. Uh, I'm gonna do another video on my inventory, but now I have a remote section. So as I start to get more of these things, I have a CD section. I have a Wii game section. Again, all that stuff lotted together. I have these little handheld game sections. And then what I tend to do, now I don't know what to, how about what you guys do, but let's say I were to sell these together. What I would do is I would take a rubber band and I would lock them together. So um, I'd be able to find it easier. So as you start to group things together, try and keep them together. I don't know how you do it, but Jay, an American banknote archive series book sending to Sending to China. Nice. Yeah, see those things you get pretty much for free? That's free money for you. Pac-Man got a premium store. Yeah, I've been at a premium store, store for a while. It's definitely, it's beneficial if you use it, but uh, some cassettes. I pick up some cassettes. I mean, they sell for $7, $8. I look for the bigger names. I did not look these up yet. Bing Pro Crosby and Elvis. We'll see what those are. I just threw those in. Picked up an Ohio State Buckeye bottle opener. That was pretty cool. Now, if you're a, a member at um, was it Office Office Max? If you're you can sign up for the rewards. If you return um, printer toner cartridges, you can get two dollars off. Well, if I didn't look at comps. If anything, I'll turn this in and get a $2 off coupon. So always uh, pick up free ink if you can. That's kind of why I did that. <coughs> American Graffiti. Again, well-known uh, movie. Pick that up. 
cassette again sealed aviator if anything i'll sell these for a dollar at a tag sale so as it gets warmer i'm trying to pick up things for tag sale or garage sales another random game i picked up whiz kids so i tend to buy a lot of the smaller things from the bins just because they're pretty much free and what's interesting is if you can go to the bags you can find a lot of the bag stuff that sell for above $10, 10, 15, 20 dollars depending what you're finding. I sold a laptop case, a Sony uh Vaio, Vaio laptop bag, brand new from from the bins. I said I think it sold for uh, 19.99. So I found this, a Canon uh, camera case. Again, brand new with this I don't want to say brand new, but it appears brand new. No no war, no wear, nothing. So, well, I haven't checked comps, but again, if I sell this for six bucks, that's easy money. Uh, again, sealed cards. I might, I have a bunch of cards. I'm going to lot the cards together. Um, and I picked this up. Again, it's a D Link. It looks like a flash drive. There you go, flash drive. I'm going to try it out in the back. You can get to see it. So, probably not worth much. I just threw it in just because I like electronics. Anything really electronic that I see in there. These little games that I pick up, I always pick them up. So definitely pick them up, ask questions later. They're really not that heavy. So I showed you the uh, Squinkies game I sold the other day for 20 bucks. So a lot of times I'm trying to pick up random toys. <coughs> Do you see these things? These are mazes. I know brand new, they sell pretty well. They're pretty expensive. I don't know about used, but I'll double check. Uh, keep in mind, it's a little uh, bulkier to ship, so if you don't want to mess with it, see it's got the ball in there. But again, if I could sell this for 10 to 15 bucks, and it's really light too, so find that. Uh, a Wi-Fi dongle link, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not worth much, but I'll give it, I'll give it a shot. So this is a lot of toy stuff. Uh, if you can find Fisher Price, so Fisher Price, I know the old medical bag sells for about twenty dollars, uh, eighteen, seventeen bucks. This has all, <coughs> all the pieces in it: stethoscope, the arm cuff, got everything in it. So again, if I can get fifteen bucks for this, and it does work, there you go. So look for the Fisher Price stuff. And this is where I kind of took a chance. I'm kind of getting um, to a new – could be careful, could have malware. Yeah, that's true, Jay. I'll check it on a random computer, not my good one. Oh, those balls? Yeah, my sister has one of the hard ones, like the really difficult ones. And I like how you can count the numbers that you're at. Switch to my computer. Hey, Liz, what's up? Uh, again, I picked up another one of these leapfrogs. I sold my leapfrog last night, uh, actual like bookcase for $28 with five cartridges. Um, but I will try and make sure this works with batteries. You can see what they were selling it for. It's four bucks. But again, if I can get 10 bucks for this, consider a win. Samsonite, I picked up a Samsonite bag. I love going to the bat, the bin portions. The, uh, with the bags in them, the bags and the ties. Samsonite travel bag comes with uh, inside. You can see here. And a lot of times with bags, guys, there's a little tag. I don't know if you can see it right there. Uh, right there. There's a tag right there. The tag, nine times out of ten, will have the model number and the style on it. So double check. Yeah, the model number's on it. Number 200. So that will help you look for comps on eBay. If you have the model, <coughs> model number. You can probably type Samsonite camera bag model 200 and you could see what those sell for. I try a random USB at Best Buy on their demo computers. There you go. That's good. Good. Uh, good testing. Demir. Adam, don't be afraid. They don't bite. Good one, Demir. That's funny. All right. I only pick these up just because they're multiples. I'll list them and let them sit. And it said Blockbuster on it. And it says collect all four. So I'm wondering if someone would ever bite on these, but they're uh, Mary Whirlarounds, and I like them because they say Blockbuster on them. 
You know someone out there. They're from uh, the snowman from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I have two of them. Again, multiples. This is why I bought them because I found two of them. Got those. And <clears throat> last thing I picked up was I Spy Bingo. Again, scholastic stuff does pretty well. I more probably got this for the kids. But again, it looks like it has all the pieces in it. I'll give it a shot. Count it. Again, with games, contents are right there on the back. So that that was basically from last night tonight. A lot of my hard goods was um, small stuff this time. So a lot of small stuff. Laptop bag was probably the biggest item I've got. I've uh, picked up. I have a tech friend that says he collects viruses on them. He had a whole bunch labeled. That's weird. I have a lead pad to list. Not sure what to put on it. It it has four bucks and cartridges. Charlotte, put a picture up there. I'll help you. I sold one last night for $28.99. Uh, fit in a regional A box. So that was probably, I think, $7.40. About $20 profit at the end of the day. So Definitely get that listed. That stuff sells. It sat a while for me, but it probably sat three months, but someone actually uh, bid it last night. So the Leapster stuff, Leap Pad, um, those units, they sell pretty well, but sometimes they'll sit. So just keep in mind. But definitely look for the games, little items, little ticky tack stuff. So I probably showed you what? I'm going to throw 30, 40 items right now. If Think about if I make $5 profit on 40 items. That's after shipping, after fees, even $10 on some of them, the bigger stuff I showed you. Don't be afraid of the little stuff, the little remotes. Uh, take a chance. I mean, they are pretty light if you want to take a chance on them. Pretty easy to list. Pretty easy to check. Solo. See, that works. So, Blasting. So, a lot of stuff already works, but. Bop it to start. Oh. I have one USB drive, at least 300 viruses on it. Whoa. I'm going to sleep. Oh. Chris, eBay's algorithm loves sales. Small or big, small sales will help your search ranking. Plus, you're getting tons of activity. eBay loves that. Yeah, so this little stuff, this little stuff will be the filler into the some of the stuff I pick up during the day. I picked up some stuff today that I will show you tomorrow night. Um, I picked up shirts. So, again, to Darren's point. A lot of the big stuff I'm still putting up there. Just the little stuff, I'll take all week to list this, but still, I mean, it's pretty easy. And before we sign off, I'll show you this remote. Uh, let me get my batteries out. Adam, have a great night. Uh, Charlotte, yes, tapes sell. These cassette tapes, I've sold cassette tapes for 7 to $8. Top Gun I sold for 8 bucks. And I sold Super Tramp for eight bucks. Super Tramp Breakfast in America. A lot of the bigger names, don't pass them up. Pick them up. Let's sit, sit them up there. So there you go. Let's see if this works before we call it a night, guys. So remote test. There you go. Sony remote. So again, with the remotes, Sony especially, you'll see the model number right here. Use the brand and the model number to list that. But that's how I test it. So there you go. <coughs> well, hopefully you liked the video, guys. Hit the thumbs up. Charlotte, yes, get those tapes listed. If you're looking to get rid of them, a lot of the bigger names stuff will sell. So CD sale, good or not? I guess Storm, it depends on the, the brand or the group. I've not sold CD specifically. I have a Bon Jovi seal that's been sitting there, but... Hopefully the little stuff helps, guys. That's kind of the little stuff show. Um, thanks for watching. Again, love the, the posts in the Facebook group. Keep them coming. Love seeing what you guys are buying and selling. And uh, thanks for coming. Talk to you later. See ya.